Hello and welcome to Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio 93.2 FM with me, Susie Casson, and we're joined in the studio by Paul Casson Yardley, who's going to talk about tall, unlikely tales at Sheffield Central Library, which is tomorrow. That's Hello, great. thanks for coming in, Paul. Thank you, Sue. Uh, so, can you tell us a bit about the event tomorrow? It's going to be in the Sheffield Central Library, is it in the main part of the library? It is indeed. Uh, we meet in the foyer, and it's expressively a tour of the labyrinthine stacks which are beneath the library. It's sort of a subterranean uh, maze down there without the Minotaur or Ariadne's thread to get you out. <laughs> Fantastic. And I think there are three, three tours, uh, one at quarter to six, one at half past six, and one at quarter past seven. That's correct. That's 5.45, 6.30pm and 7.15pm. Thank you. And do you have previous experience of leading tours? I do. Uh, initially, I started life as a guide at Speedwell Cavern in Castleton. Uh, that was the days when you had to push a boat by your legs on the roof towards the bottomless pit. So I started guiding from that and been on and off with it. For a number of years now and we've been doing some tours in Sheffield one was Bishop's House which we led the other week which went down very well great so the tours of the central library are going to be a chance to combine your acting skills with your touring experience uh, well I, there is a little bit it will be highlighted with a few dramatic impact yeah a few dramatic highlights on the way as we go through it yeah I can't really say give too much away at the moment no absolutely so you said you led a tour recently of Bishop's House at night how was that Dark. <laughs> really, it was most people who came on it had been around Bishop's house many, many occasions, but really it was seeing something familiar uh, from an unfamiliar angle, especially in the dark, and using another entrance rather than the, uh, the, the tourist entrance, which people usually use. So a lot different. It went down very well. Fantastic. Well, there's been quite a bit of talk about the Central Library at the moment and questions about whether it's going to continue as a library. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of the building? Yeah, uh, if I could just answer that first question. Yes, there is a question mark hanging over the future of the library and the Graves Gallery and the uh, Library Theatre. This is linked with uh, Chinese investment in the city at the moment. Uh, yeah, the library was uh, started Built in 1929, they didn't finish it until 1934. Beautiful Art Deco building, so there's quite a lot of work going on it. Yeah, fantastic. And there's the library theatre under there as well, isn't there? That's correct. That's a beautiful, beautiful Art Deco theatre. I mean, again, it's been there uh, many years. I think the first performance went on in 1934. Uh, it was a private performance, and it was called See Naples and Die, of all things. In 1934, they only had permission to host private performances. For, paying, for non-paying hosts. I think that was because of a, a tax law or something that was around at that time. Right. So the tour tomorrow is going to go to parts of the library that you can't normally see, that aren't usually open to the public. That's correct. What is it like down there? Is it the stack? The stack, as they call it, I'd call it a vault or an undercroft, a, a book depository. Uh, there's six miles of shelving down there of books and it's very fusty down there, and there's tomes and volumes of all sorts of things. And there's also some uh, strong houses down there, safes, that nobody knows what's in them. Could be a forgotten prisoner, it could be a forgotten librarian, who knows what's down there. Great. So what kind of people do you think will be interested in the tour? Again, people who uh, patronise a library, or people who are just curious about secular buildings in Sheffield, especially the, the central library and people used to enjoy a, a guided tour in general. I mean, six miles of books, I mean, if you stuck them end to end, that would probably... So I'm told by my father it would stretch from Central Library to Totley, probably where the fleur de lis is. <laughs> yeah, anybody who's really interested in something a little bit different, again, a familiar object seen from an unfamiliar angle, or a familiar building, really. Great. So the tour is going to be of the basement of the Central Library. Is it going to be quite frightening down there? Yeah, it's starting off in the foyer of the Central Library. And again, without giving too much away, there's points of interest there. There's a large crack in the terrazzo floor where a bomb hit Fitzalan Square, believed to be on the night that the bomb destroyed the Marples Building. Disastrous and fatal results. So we're starting the foyer, and then we're going through, then we're descending down a number of steps. So it's not that accessible. Uh, people have to decide themselves if it's accessible for them to be able to get up and down. And then into the stacks themselves, and it weaves in and out of the stacks. Again, very labyrinthine, very much like the uh, the King Minus' uh, Minotaur story. Great. Big place underneath. Yeah, great. So a chance to see... And dark. 
<laughs> yeah, people have got torches when they're down there so they can see, which adds to the more to the atmosphere of it. Yeah, so are there any other buildings in Sheffield you'd like to lead a similar tour around? Yeah, I mean, how long a piece of string? Yeah, there's a lot of other secular buildings. Uh, uh, we're in talks about doing a tour around the old town hall at the moment uh, and also the uh, the town hall, which used to be the magistrate's court, which has laid empty for many years. Uh, the old post office, uh, the old Hendo's factory upon uh, uh, up near the university. So, yeah, quite a lot. There's quite a lot to go out in Sheffield and there's quite a lot of tunnels underneath it which people don't know about. Mm-hmm. which we'd like to discover and take people down and guide tours through at a future date, if we get permission. Fantastic. It's like seeing the city from a completely different angle. It is, underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Below. Right, great. So that's Tall Unlikely Tales. Is is that because you're going to be telling some Tall Unlikely yeah, Tales? Yeah, there's a lot of facts there, but there's a bit of embellishment going on. I mean, the facts are strange in the fiction, some of them, which I'll not tell too much now, but there's a little bit of drama added to it just for entertainment for people's pleasure. Fantastic. And it really is an alternative tour deep into the library. Yeah. So we'll reveal tall tales and amazing anecdotes and some possible ridiculous revelations that people won't believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Great, so thank you. That's Tall Unlikely Tales at Sheffield Central Library tomorrow. Uh, quarter to six, half past six and quarter past seven. Tickets are five pounds, available from the reference library. And if anyone doesn't know where the reference library is, you go up the steps, it's turn immediate left through the doors. That's the reference library. Well, thank you very much, Paul, for coming in. That Thank you very much.